Check, check, check. There we go. Sorry, guys. Okay, got it. There we go. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Go, go, let's try again. Hello, my fellow makers of Foam Phonetics. Uh, again, everybody, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, we are back on the Servo Skull. Again, it's taken a long time to make this Servo Skull because it made a pack with myself to, if I do anything with this skull, I'm going to do it on a live stream. Now, great if I sit at home and just play with it, I'll probably have it done in a day or two. But um, uh, I want to just, as I progressively, slowly build this uh, thing, I want to do it on the videos and do it on a live stream. So. <laughs> we can tell you're trying to figure it out, Ted. I did. What happens is that periodic, if I don't use the um, my Adobe over a while, the, for some reason the Yeti microphone is un unhooked. So when you open it back up, you have to go back in and reconnect it. So it's a really nice microphone. It's a Yeti microphone I got that works really well. So I'm going to sip my coffee just for a little bit because I really enjoy this. Mm. Mm. Really quickly, I want to since we're. Um, before we start making, um, I want to let everybody know that if you haven't known or found out already on my other social media, I'll be attending Adam Savage's Silicon uh, Convention. It is, um, I believe, August 26th to the 27th in San Jose Convention Center. I will be there with many other great makers, uh, Sophie Wong, Beverly Downings, Bill Duran, SKS Props, uh, Frankly Built, um, Sophie Wong, I'm really excited about because uh, she's a fantastic maker. She's really technically savvy. She will do things in 3D printing, and it's like she's very, very skilled. Set. Uh, she has much, much uh, comes from, uh, I think, I want to talk to her. I think she comes from industrial design, like education, like, uh, like they do. I have friends that come out of college, and they learn about how to make things industrial. Um, so if you guys, hey, hey, Radar's here. Welcome. Hey, really, guys, Silicon, she's going to be there. That's right, Radar, you're going to be there as well. It'll be nice to catch up and talk shop about about Costume Con. Because I'm going to be doing that with you guys. Uh, we'll be able to hang out and talk more about that. Because it's been a while. This terrible thing happened called the pandemic, which set everything back. But we're all moving forward, right? So. Mmm. So I'm going to sip some coffee really quickly before we start working. But today on the Servo Skull, um, uh, I've been looking at other people, looking at pictures. And the one thing about these Servo Skulls that I liked, uh, it had these um, these arms hanging on it. And so my plan is I'm going to make, uh, I want to make some like little robot arms that hang down below the Servo Skull. And uh, I think my plan is I'm going to make them, figure them out, and then... Uh, probably not going to glue them on I'll probably do them and seal them separately and then therefore when they're done I can glue them back on because I don't because trying to spray and coat things with arms hanging on it will be kind of a, a bit of a pain so and I still have to figure out how I want to mount this thing too I have to build a little, a little mounting stand because when it's all done I want to have the I want to have the uh, the skull mounted on a rod so it can have it sit it upright but this has been a, a, a fun build but a slow build all the same. And then once it's done, I, I still have to figure out what I'm going to do for lights because I have this rigged up to where this opens up with the magnets, right? And so I have to get a, um, I'm going to feed some LEDs and stuff. It's kind of be a little tricky, but it's still, I'll be able to get to it. But there it is. <clears throat> so um, really quickly, if you guys are watching this and uh, if you're in a different state, different country, um, if there is a con you would like me to go to, uh, I went to, um, I've been to several cons overseas in Germany, which was great. It was fun. And I'm running to, uh, go back again. So if anybody, um, conventions that you would like me to go to, please, uh, message me. You go right to my website, eviltedsmith.com and there's a contact email. You can write to me there and send me a link to the convention you would like me to go to and I would do some research. And uh, let them know about me and see if they would like to bring me out. Hmm. Because I used to tell people to write to the cons and, and it's, yeah, sometimes it just usually does not work. So I just would think I'd just reach out to them and educate them on who I am and why they should bring me to their local convention. <laughs> uh, all right. So let's get down to business, shall we? I'm going to take one more big sip of my delicious espresso. 
Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, it is uh, 9.05 out here in the U.S. If anybody wants to know what time it is. Okay, here we go. Let's switch over. Let's shift over here real quick. Adjust the camera. Move my microphone so you guys can hear me. And we're going to switch the overhead camera. All right. <clears throat> Here's our, oh, let me adjust this camera real quick. Bring it down a little bit. Oh, my God, let me do some tightening, a little tightening real quick. There you go, all right. The, uh, the skull, like I said, I'm going to today. I like this skull. Uh, it's coming along great. Uh, I, I've been looking at pictures of the servo skulls, and I know that they have, like, arms hanging down below. So I am going to um, make something for the arms to mount onto. So I went ahead and cut some pieces I cut out. Here's my plan. I got these guys here. I'm going to glue this here and this like that. And the plan is to put that right underneath this. Kind of like that and having the arms come off of it. Might be near. Uh, we'll see. This is what I want to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out a s silhouette. Let's get a little closer here. Oops, sorry guys. I'm, all right. I'm just going to do a silhouette of it and cut it out and see what it looks like. Hey Becky, what's up? Oh, surprise. Hey, buddy, my friend Becky, going ape costume is here. Uh, we're going to, let me see here. Find the center. I'm sorry. All right, go like that. And... I'm trying to think how wide do I want to make these arms. Let's do half times, so right? Go like this. I love the cl the clear ruler. You just gotta love these things. Got it. All right. And then we do another circle, which I have these little foam plugs. I'm going to use that for the smaller circles. So let me see what size is that. That's about this size. Got it. All right. So. Yeah, that's about the length, that's the width we're going for here. And then the, I have an arm coming off of that. And of course, that'll be, we can figure out what we're gonna do from there. So let's just do a little. Do the, find the center right here. So wait, what's the width in this? It's it's about three of these, right? So it's three, yeah, three width. Okay, so that in here, in there. Cut this out and get an idea. 
Hey, Becky, thank you so much. <laughs> yes, uh, Becky is saying happy birthday. Thank you, Becky, so much. Uh, it was my birthday yesterday. Kind of cute. I was keeping it kind of low key. I wasn't really making a big deal about my birthday. Um, but I promised I would celebrate my 60th birthday because I'm turning 59. So I thought if you're going to have a big party, make it when you're 60. <laughs> All right. It's your birthday? No, it was my birthday yesterday, guys. Uh, you know, it was one of those things where, like, it would. it's like, if I had more time to think about it, I had so much stuff on my mind at the time, um, but I should do something for my stream or for my patterns in my store or something like have a Evil Ted birthday sale or something like that. I just, it sneaks up on me every year. I'm always like, oh, crap, it's my birthday. Anyway, you got that. Let's get this out of the way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm cutting this out. This is going to be my, uh, uh, just a little cardboard cutout, just to get an idea. I'm just doing this for sizing before I make it. I'm going to take a look at it and see if I like if I like the scale of it, the positioning of it. It's always great when you're making something, you don't really know what it's going to look like. Just to do a little cardboard silhouette. Just do a little quick silhouette and take a look at it from a distance and see if you like it. Because there's been times I've made things and, and then stand across the room and go, eh, it's either too big or too small. It's that thing of like, it's always, and it's how obsessed you are about the details and certain things you make. You know, it happens to all of us. It happened with me making the Battle Sister armor. I made it, made it again, liked it, and then stepped away from it, came back and remade the chest piece again. This wasn't happy with it. Sometimes it helps to step away. Oops, I bumped the camera there, guys. You're older. Eat cake. <laughs> Becky. I like like YouTube. Like, is this okay to post? I had, I had to prove it. That's funny. I had to prove your comment. Because you're so cutting edge. All right. Like that. Let me have this. Like that. All right. Yeah, this is a. Uh, it looks pretty good, but again, you really don't know until you put it on and take a look at it. So let's take a. Um, and again, this is you can always change this. Like once you build this and make it, you can always change, adjust it, whatnot. But this is to get an idea. So now, my plan was to have this all glued to get too. Well, let's just take some straight pens and put this together, just so I can get an idea. Because I think about doing it like this, kind of just gluing it together. And it might be a little on the wide side. I might want to trim it, but let's take a look here. Get some straight pins. And just before gluing it, let's just kind of pin it. All right. Some water for you guys. So the pins, I want to tuck it in like this, right? And then the arms. I'm sorry. We'll be on it like this. Let's go a little higher up there. Yeah, I got better. Let's pin. Let's just pin it on. <laughs> Do both. Put it on here like this. Just pin it like that. There you go. See, like that. I'm just going to come across position. Back a little bit like this, maybe. So I want to do, um, I want to have like one with like a pincher. And I might think about having one with a syringe on it, like an, uh, like an injector syringe. I 
But anyway, if I make an in injector syringe, I'll make that separately. It's going to be something a little more detailed. But anyway, that's kind of like... Get a better view. I'm one, I don't know. I think this is... Um, I think this might be... That's a bit too long. I think it'd be better if it was simple, just a little bit shorter. Like, I like all this happening. I like... To, I know some of the arms come out a bit far, but I think this shaft doesn't... I mean, it'd be... Sh that this be a little shorter. Like, the joint should end... Like, the joint should be about right there, just below this main circle here. Just to have it look a little... Just to make it a little more contained. What do you guys think? Let's get some inputs from the peanut gallery. Mm. So you guys, yeah, I, I think this is too long. If we tuck this up a little bit and then make the forearm, therefore we might get another bend in there. Like we do this and have a bend and it comes out. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if we do this and have a bend, like a bend from that direction and have it bend again, make it look a little creepier. I grew up in Utah. Hey, Becky. No, you did. You you were very funny. Um, but yeah, I think uh, YouTube just... I don't know how it works, but we're, we're figuring it out here on YouTube. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's... Yeah, I think about that. We're going to go ahead. I like this, but let's make it shorter. Is that attaching to the shoulder? Um, In theory, what I want to do, Becky, is I want to build a stand, a, a, a hookup for it, so when I'm not, I can have it on display, but then I want to be able to pick it off with a mounting uh, post on the bottom of it and have it on a rod. My plan, I'm going to make a costume, is have it on a rod, like an acrylic rod on a shoulder thing, to, so it sits above the shoulder, like behind you, you know, like a floating skull. I thought it would be kind of fun. Yeah, but it's um, it's you, it's gonna have claws. Like if you're doing it by itself, granted, but these guys are gonna be arms. Yeah, I don't mind they look like a jaw. You kind of add to the menace of it, you know. But um, I'm wondering. Yeah, yeah, I like no. We'll do that. I just want some arms. Okay, guys, it's long. It is long, right? So it's like a little bit too much. So we'll shorten that. Hold on, let's do that real quick. I got an idea. Easy peasy, let's fix this real quick. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, cut it like so. that so I decided if we do this right it's a bit long I just want to go up just maybe just you know it's maybe a half inch I think a half inch would do it like right there like we do this yeah okay that works for me. So, just do that. Okay, so now, um, what I want to do, um, let's think about, I like these guys. Let's make them out of uh, three mil. I think I have some three mil foam. Hold on, let's take a look. Let me grab back here my foam stash.
gonna cut a quick little strip of foam, guys. Be right with you. Just give me a sec. Anyway, uh, I bumped the camera, I can see. Uh, all right. Check this. Uh, I saw something similar to at a haunt at the used helping hands, the tendrils hanging down the alligator clips look creepy. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, I'm going to. Um, I'm making this out of foam, but I'm realizing once I do this and build this, I'm probably going to stick a little, um, we'll make them long, but they're going to be foam, so they'll wiggle around, so I might have to take some armature. Once I build it, I'm going to take a little cut, put some armature wire in, in behind them, and stabilize them, and then when they're done, I'll just I'll glue them in separately. But let's go ahead um, and let's cut the strips. Here, sorry. Let's get down to business. Yeah, again, let's get back to another debate here. Um, but originally had it was these guys and the spacing. I'm gonna make sure the um oh dang it. Uh these guys, uh I like this, so I'm gonna make it uh I'm gonna glue these guys together. And I'm sitting here, so I'm gonna do that first. Let's figure and I think that's what gave it the illusion of the width, because I have it pretty narrow. I could go wider, but I like... Yeah, let's see. Yeah, so let's go ahead and glue these guys on. I have some strips of foam here. It's so funny, I realized that when I did this, um, I forgot to let people know that I, I usually post in all social medias where I'm going to be in streaming. I did an email and threw it out to my, um, oh, you guys are on my newsletter. I appreciate that because the people are usually here are usually from my newsletter. You follow me and so you got a letter about it and I didn't, didn't post it anywhere else. I should have, but I did not. So I'm a little rusty, guys. So anyway, let's get back to it. Usually I would post that I was going to be doing this as well, but um, let's go overhead. A little contact cement. Yeah, it's just quite a bit on there, so let's do this, wipe it. So when you do that, you just take two pieces of foam, rub it, get really nice and thin, and let it dry. If you feel you got a lot of glue on there, like I like I do, so just do this. You take the glue and the other piece of foam, and you smear it together. And you're applying basically you're applying contact cement to both sides of foam, and you're getting it really thin. The thinner it is, the faster it dries. So we set it down, let that dry, and so while that's happening, uh, we're going to cut this guy. This is going to be my template for the uh, the arm. And this is the top. Let's make sure we know this is the top. That's the top and that's the bottom. The reason I'm labeling these guys top and bottom, even though it's foam, it's not that big of an issue, but the two different curves are a little bit different. But when you're dealing with foam, the <laughs> Dealing with plastics, you have to deal with that. But with something like foam, foam is so forgiving that if the curve's close enough, it doesn't really make a difference. It'll still grab and take shape and look nice. That's why I love working with foam. You're working with metals and plastics. Everything has to be precise or it won't go together. So foam is so forgiving. 
All right now uh, we're going to put some detail I have some texture foam right here I really like I'm so I'm gonna put that on the uh, inside here just to add some detail to it so let's do yeah let's do that that'd be fun like a gear no, should I put in the center? Yeah, break it up a little bit. So let's do that. There you go. Cut that. Got my glue pot. <clears throat> Now this is plenty dry, so I'm going to touch right to the edge like this. Alright, got it. Same thing with this guy. Right on the edge, flush. Alright, this you're not going to always see the back, so he's going to do this from here, like that. And then wrap it. There you go, it looks pretty cool. You know, yeah, and this goes, that guy's gonna go right in here like that. Mm. So, you know something? Let's, hold on. Let's get some, uh, I like this. Let's add a little, just a little bit. I just want to add a little bit more detail to it. So let's cut another strip here. Like that. And yeah, here's it. But I realize I don't want to have it. Because this is already sticking, it's kind of interfering with the. Uh, I wonder if I do want to grind that down, maybe. Well, I kind of like it. Let's see. Hold on. But if we do that, it allows clearance for these pieces. Let go. If I do that, will I go all the way around? No, it will not. So, let's do. Let's cut these guys at a bevel here. Hold on. More detail, right, Becky? She's right. Let's do... Yeah, let's do it right here. So I'll glue it right on the edge, and I'll wrap. Just give it some depth. Break it up a little bit. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Got it. All right, so let's go ahead. Put some contact cement on these guys. Oh, hold on. If I'm going to do this, let's cut the length that I need. It's going to wrap all the way around like this. Like that, so then it would have to be cut off here. I right, got it. So <clears throat> table, let's get a little. Sorry, guys, get you closer on this. Uh, I'm cutting this to wrap 
some additional detail. Let me do this. And now that I have this, I can cut it for both sides. Here, let's do that. Got it. All right, so now I'm going to apply some contact cement. Yeah, I might have to add some thinner to my uh, my glue. It's a little on the thick side. A little thicker than I like it usually, but that's all right. I'll put that there. Let that sit. Let that dry. Same thing here, apply. Like that. Excellent. And now, do the same thing in here. Wipe off some excess glue, go like this. Okay, let's, uh, let me get some scrap foam, which is right here. Again, when the glue gets a little bit too heavy in spots and you're concerned about it, come back in with a piece of scrap foam and just smear it out till it's nice and thin and flat. Two things happen. It kind of hides the glue. So when you go to paint on top of it, you don't see the clunky glue marks, but it gets really thin and dries. There you go, just like that. All right, I'm gonna let that dry. Give it a second. All right, really quickly, everybody. While it's drying, and I'll have a sip of my coffee. I have some questions really quickly. Have you guys watched the Hulu movie, the uh, the new the Predator movie called Prey? Oh, I have not seen it yet. Um, I've the only few reviews I've heard from some close friends of mine. They're like, it's better than the last film. It was better than the last Predator movie. Which is not saying a lot because that last one was garbage. It was so bad. And they spent so much money on that movie because it was Shane Black. And they were, and he was trying to create some new background lore to it. It was just, yeah, it was terrible. And uh, so they've been desperately trying to reboot this franchise. Um, so I heard mixed reviews. I haven't seen either, Becky. I, I mean, it's not that I don't want to. I'm just I'm kind of waiting for the hype to die down a little bit and I'll watch it later. Like, so, but, uh, I'll just, it's just, it's hard, you know, you can't, it's always hard to, it's, that film was such a, makes me want to, I remember that I just like the, um, sorry, turn my ringer off, guys, sorry. But um, the second was the Predator 2, where they were in the city. There was like, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. It was kind of like, everybody was just, expectations were so big on that movie that people liked it. It did all right. It was, it's not, compared to all the movies, it was better than the, uh, than anything they made since then. Oh. All right, this is looking good. All right, here we go. All right, it's dry. I'm going to go ahead and get in here like this, right on the edge where it starts here. Wait, don't, nah, don't stick yet. Cut that real quick. Yeah, 
come back with a stone bit and try to clean it up a little bit. All right, got that. Ooh, right there. Perfect. Wrap. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I grabbed the wrong one. I was like, why is that not sticking? There you go. Got this. Bring her down. Wrap, wrap, wrap. There you go. <clears throat> I just want to grind it down a little bit. Look at that. So now let's see how it fits. <clears throat> kind of like that. So you know what I'm thinking? I might just... um. I think I'm going to cut this top piece just so it fits a little better because it's running this piece of plastic. I want it to sit just a little tighter so that means I have to probably... Let's cut this guy right like this here. Cut this off like that. Like that. Yeah, just wanted to, just because it's... Um, nah, that's better. So. Let's take a stone bit. Let's soften this up a little bit. Which do I have it? I do. No, I just I have a sanding drum here. Let's swap it out real quick. All right, cleaned up a little bit. Tucked in here like that. You know, I'm wondering. Uh, it's just like, these guys are both different. Like, this one looks nice, this one's too short. Yeah, I kind of, you can see the spacing where I screwed up. Like, the spacing's here and this one, that's why it's kind of, I should have synced them up a little bit better. Yeah, so, it's really bothering me. Wah. How about if I just do like, yeah, turn it more like that. Take this flat part and stick it against that. There you go. Oh wait, that solves the problem. So instead of gluing it, instead of gluing it here, glue it to this. I think that solves the problem. If you go like this and bring it up, it ties all that. Yeah, that looks so much better now. Yeah, it looks much, much better. Yeah, what I was trying to do, that hides so much now. That looks, yeah, that's, that's the ticket right there. All right, now it looks that looks pretty decent. Great. Okay, so now let's glue that. That looks great. We call that done. So let's go ahead. Mm, so. If we do that, hey, before we glue this, let's let's get these arms figured out here, right? Where's my template? Oh, here there. Right. 
So we're going to take this guy, make a strip, and cut these arms first, right? Let's go and cut these guys out. Make them. You know, cut this guy like that, and then we cut uh, these guys out, and we stick them on. Cut this guy, trace this. Like that. Let's cut two of these like that. Get a uh, stone. Stone bit. All right, guys, we're good. Hey, good morning. Uh, FX Gamer 830 says, uh, always a good morning when you wake up. One of your favorite content creators is on. That's right. Hello. Welcome. Thank you so much. Um, if Jesse isn't in Predator movie saying that he ain't got time to bleed, I'm not watching it. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure his nephew's looking through stuff. And actually, Jesse Ventura figures from when he was governor. Oh my God, that's right. Jesse Ventura, governor. Um, really quickly, I'm going to take this stone bit and clean up these uh, curves real fast here. Hold on for a second. All right, got this guy's cut. So now I'm going to take these small circles. Wait, where were they? I had a bunch of these. Where'd they go? Oh, there. Okay. I'm going to glue this guy uh, right like that. Yeah. Um, hmm. I'm just realizing no matter what I do, it's going to be... Um, wiggly I don't want it wiggly so hold on I have an idea let me get some armature wire really quickly here
Yeah, a big spool of armature wire. Pull me off a piece. Okay. So now, <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to put this guy, uh, I'll put a little bit of armature wire, um, but I want to put a, uh, stick the armature wire in this guy. Let's see, let's poke a hole for him real quick. Here's my plan. I'm going to poke a hole in this guy, like this. Stick the armature wire in here like this. And put this guy. The thing is, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a, uh, a trench, and this is there for the. Um, Cause I like this. I don't want you know, people. You can make this thing on a center, but I really don't want to do that. I want to keep. I like the thickness of the foam. So let's go ahead and do this. I got a plan. So I got it. All right. So now I'm gonna do. We got these guys. Oh no, do I have my wood burner at work? Shoot. I might, that's gonna suck. Hold on guys. I realized I have a, I took a wood burner and burn a trench in this. But I think the wood burner I used at work. Ta-da, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Plug it in, gonna heat it up. All right. <clears throat> I want to put my figure in an evening gown. There you go. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, James. Oh, somebody is somebody from Brazil. Can does somebody know how to speak? Is there a translator for that? Mm. Hello, Brazil. Thank you. I would love to come to Brazil. That'd be awesome. <laughs> um, while this is heating up, my plan is I'm going to burn a little groove behind this and then put the armature wire in. It'll stabilize it enough to where once I glue this on, it'll take the wiggle out of it a little bit so it doesn't jump around so much. Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. How do you spell Brazil? I don't even know how to spell it. There. Let's see. So I could do that. If I do that, they can do the two small short ones with the armature wire in them and stick them in there. So, um,. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, figuring this out. Oh, and I can add some detail to these guys. This is what we can do. I got it. Hold on. Um, overhead. So I like these circles. I like my little gears, but I had these guys left over. And it'd be really nice if we stuck them in the center of this, right? Add some more depth to them. You know what would even look better if there's if I put holes in them? Is I want to put as much like mechanical, creepy detail stuff on these guys as possible. Um, let's see uh, full power creations good morning how are you sir welcome for joining us 
We're working on the um, the Battle Sister. Oh, not Battle Sister. Oh my God, my brain. I'm working on the Servo Skull. Hey Ted, look at. It's a Ted after a man. It's not hot. What's that, Krim? New schedule. Um, yeah, what is um, Full File Creations? Is, um, I'm in the process of uh, getting back in the movie work. And if I do get back into the, is full, is, into working full full time, uh, getting back into the full swing of things, that the only time I'm going to be able to stream is on the weekends. So the best time for me is Sunday mornings. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, so anyway, this thing's heating up. Where's my metal straight edge? Right here. Good, 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 good. So what I do is I'm going to burn a trench in the back of this guy. Get a little closer, you guys. Uh, these are my pieces. These are the arms. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the arms and I want to just uh, put a trench right in the back of them because I want to put some armature wire and... To hide the armature wire, I'm going to put a little bit of a groove in this guy. Just so I can see if it's hot enough. I'm see if it's hot enough to do this yet. So. Yeah, there you go. That'll do it. Wow, that's, that's, a, that's a trench. like that there we go perfect and then we take this guy and we glue it right you know some of these corners let's go and just not they're gonna be an issue let's go and just cut them just, if I can't match it you know, I'm realizing this foam, it's its not, I don't, I don't think it's EVA, I think it's L200. That's why it's kind of hard to work with. Anyway, okay. So, I'm going to take a, put a context on the edge like this. And you take our foam, guys, like this. And just smear it around. Make it nice and thin. I right, get that guy, right? Okay. Then we have this guy. Foam piece, same thing. Perfect. Got it. All right, good. Let that dry. Yeah, and the, my plan is I'm going to get some armature wire, and it's going to poke. Um, I'm going to make a... Um, keep it along on this end, but gluing them on this guy. And then um, i got to figure out what I want to put in these things. I have one that's going to have like a little pincher, and it might do a syringe. We'll see. Even our soda machine is empty. So we didn't have cold drinks. Oh, let me catch up with chat really quickly. Uh, Full power creations, uh, new schedule. Yeah, uh, oh my God. Zero, did you lose some weight? My IKEA didn't have AC, so it's hot. Oh, your IKEA. My God, that sounds terrible. Hey, Becky, hi. To hey, Ricky White, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Uh, get some water in you. She's right. Becky's right. Drink water. I don't drink enough water. I drink. I come up, wake up in the morning with a cup of coffee. I got to drink more water every day. So yeah, water, water, water. Drink, 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 drink. Can't drink enough water, especially these days. Mm. All right. Anyway, uh, 
Yes, it's a really slow process, guys. I'm, it's, it's getting there. <laughs> All right, now it's dry. I'm going to glue it. But when I glue, I want to make sure I glue it right in the center of the, of the, of the foam just to give it some kind of lip, give it some depth, make it look more like a, kind of like a gear thing, like a joint. So when you're putting it in there, make sure you glue it right smack in the center. Just like that. It's perfect. Like that. And then, where's that armature wire? I just went through trouble cutting. Oh, here it is. Right in front of me. So the plan is... Stick. Oh, Ted. Jesus Christ. There you go. Hi. And then take an exacto blade. I'm gonna, I'm gonna poke a hole right down the center like that. Same thing with this guy. Poke a hole. And we insert the armature wire into that, like this. Go a little deeper with it. Give it some stability to it. Perfect. All right. And we're going to cut the armature wire about that long. There. What the plan is that when we're ready, we're going to uh, cut a hole in this guy and insert it into this as well. And what that does, the armature wire is going to stabilize this guy so this doesn't wiggle around. Uh, and I actually can put some foam strips, which, which would be nice decorative covers. Um, but in the meanwhile, let's go ahead and... Um, do this guy too. So let's cut some armature wire. I got the hole in there. So take the armature wire. Not, actually, it's not really armature wire. This is a uh, bailing wire. It's really strong steel wire. I like using this stuff a lot. So you just push it in there in the foam. Perfect. And then cut it about right there. Got it. So what we're gonna do now is take some cut. We got it pretty much where I want it to be. So what I do is I take this guy. I'm gonna take a little contact cement. I'm gonna dab a little in that trench here, like this. And I'm gonna put a little bit on the armature wire. And then Slide that in there like this. Get some scrap foam, wipe off the excess. There you go. So the contact cement will evaporate. The uh, the 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 vapor content of this stuff is really strong. And so once it vaporizes and goes away, this will stick. So we've got one, let's do the other one. Same drill. Take it out. Little dab of cement here. And put content cement on our wire. There you go. Set these guys up that dry. So now, <clears throat> this guy's looking good. So what I'm gonna do is I like there's some stuff happening here. Let's do um, let's take these guys, put these out. You know what would be nice? Let's do let's get some two mil and do some strips on the outside of these guys. Now that you're asking me, are you making this up as you go? And the answer is yes. So here we go. But I don't know if I, I need probably more of these. So hold on, let me take a look and see if I can make a couple more because I have to do both sides. Um, yeah. Go. 
and cut a little strip here. Let's get about that wide. It's about a quarter. Yeah. How about this? We'll use our cutting grid. That's a good width, right? So we'll just line up on our cutting grid. It's, it's a half inch right there. So then I just line up the ruler. Like that, line up. That's the thing about the cutting mat's great. So you have a cutting mat, you just line up. There, half inch. Let's cut one more strip. Line it up. All right, get some brass tubes. I'm gonna use this brass tube just to cut the edge of my, because uh, this is a good curve on the edge of this curve, right? So I'll take this guy like this, and my brass tubing, and just push down. Like that, come on. See, it's got that little bit of a, got a little curve into it. And then I can drop that guy in like this, and it covers up my armature wire, right? Like this, perfect. Then come back here and trace this. So you see where this falls. Like that. Like that. Sh real sharpie. There you go. And just cut. Perfect. All right. And, and there it is. Just like, just like that. And you know, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do both sides. We'll just do that. We'll do both sides. Get that texture going here. So, like that. Might be a little off. Let's see if we can trim that corner just a little bit. Hold on. Get a little more centered. There, perfect. Okay. A little there, and then do a little here, and we get some scrap foam just to smear it out. Yeah, there you go. There you go. See the plan is once I dip this guy together, um, I will insert this into that ba main base, which is right here, and I'll stabilize that. And then when I'll do the same thing, so the other arm, I'll make an arm just like this one to insert into that guy. And then once it's all glued together, they'll give it some rigidity, so these guys won't just wiggle around. They'll be nice little solid arms. As for what the arm is going to be holding, I think yeah, one's going to be a pincher, and the other one's going to be like a, a like a like a medical syringe. And the reason I want to do it because it flashes me back to when I was a kid and I saw Star Wars. Um, when they're interrogating Princess Leia. <laughs> and a little drone comes in with that big needle. Me, me, me. I was a kid. I was like, ah, oh, it's got a needle. It's got a robot interrogating droid.
Yeah. All right, there you go. See, look at that. Looks great. So, of course, I'm going to do the uh, the same thing. So, wait, let's do that again. Let's cut this guy real quick. Let's go ahead and do this guy too. Like that. This way, quick. And take a crap. I just do this. Boop. And then, a little contact cement. There and there. And then, smear it really thin. Okay, let that dry. Gives me time to catch up with Chet. Uh, get some water. Uh, wait, somebody. Yin Yang goes, hey, hello. I finally caught one of your live streams. That's right. Yin Moto, thank you so much for joining us today. <clears throat> Yin Moto, where are you located? Where are you at? What time is it where you're at? <laughs> I always get people at different time streams. So it's, it's 9 a.m. Well, actually not anymore. It's it's at 1010 in the a.m. here in uh, U.S. Mm. As a matter of fact, I'm about to wrap this up because I've done as much as I can on these arms. So now you guys seen the technique. I'm going to end up doing this over and over again. I'm, I'm going to do the rest of the arms so you guys at least know what I'm doing with the arms. So when you come back next time, I'll have the arms pretty much assembled and I'll put them all together. But... Uh, but yeah, you can't have enough detail. None of detail in these things. Yeah, that's it. Actually, actually, that's going to be kind of cool. It's so funny, it's like, you now I'll stick these little guys on the outside. Mmm, mm, detail. Oh, it's uh, 2 a.m. in Japan. Oh, hello, welcome. Yen, 2 a.m. in Japan. I know, that's my dream, is to come to Japan. Someday I want to um, come to a convention or whatnot, but I realized that my... Thank you so much for joining me. My Japanese audience, my Japanese audience is very small. Yeah, and so thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. I love watching your videos. Oh, thank you so much. Um, yeah, let, let all your friends in Japan know that I have a YouTube channel. Because <laughs> eventually I want to come out to Japan and do a convention. It would be super awesome. So, Oh, Yen, yeah, um, yeah, are you on any other social media? Can we, um, can we follow you on... Um, Are you on Instagram or uh, Twitter or anything like that? Um, do you have like a, a Facebook page or a uh, Instagram or a YouTube channel or something we can we can check out and follow you? Because we're all here about support. We everybody in this chat are most people are makers in here. Hmm. Uh, a lot of my friends uh, here on YouTube are all oh, follow me over here from Twitch. Oops, I used to stream on Twitch a lot. I want to get back to Twitch. I'm about to lose my partnership because I haven't been there in ages. Let me see if this is going to work. Uh, I got this guy lined up.
I am but too much of a shy turtle. Oh, okay. I don't want to push it. I understand. But uh, again, we're really, um, what's the word here? We're a very friendly uh, community. There's no trolls here. We work very hard. Uh, but, um, but again, I understand. No push. I understand. I would say, can, can you tell me how you found me? Did you find me on YouTube or another social, something that you saw and said, hey, I'm going to follow this guy? I'm just curious where you found me first. I was wondering, how do you prevent leaving fingerprints when molding clay? Ah, foam clay, yes. The trick is wet your fingers. Uh, if you're working with foam clay, um, there's two things. You can put on gloves, you know, the rubber gloves, but they always kind of drive me crazy. Um, but uh, if you're working with foam, foam clay, the trick is um, once, I mean, you can do your sculpture and get it all shaped out, but then get most of it shaped out and then you're done wet your fingers wet your fingers and just go and with the with water uh the foam clay you can smooth things out with your fingers when it's wet i've subscribed years ago i found you looking on credits of your work oh thank you so much yeah thanks uh stone fist prop says hey uncle ted i feel like it has been forever that i have been able to catch your live stream and that I am an OG Twitch follower. That's right, Stonefist, you are. Thank you. Um, yeah, Stone, because I haven't been on Twitch in a while. Things have been busy, but I'm trying to get back into my regular streaming business format. Getting back to my regular streaming format, uh, I've just been busy with work, and I realized that what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to try to do something consistently on Sundays because the weekend, because I'm starting to work again, doing some more work. Uh, industry work so it eats up a lot more of the time during the week so i find it's better to do it on the weekends and i think sunday's a nice quiet time to do it for me and a lot of people that work i think it'll be fun because they'll be able to catch me on the um the people that normally can't catch me will be able to catch me now because i'll be doing it during the uh the, the weekend just all right so i'm just finishing up these little plates on the arm on these arms real quick all right. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Get back to overhead real quick. Got to finish this guy up. And this. Just like that. Line it up. Yeah, see, it looks dope. Look at that detail. Loving it. And the reason it's nice is that's why when you float in the center, it kind of it goes flush. So, uh, let me get the yeah here. There you go. Got it. All right. Got it. All 
All right, line her up, just like that. All right, these are looking good. I see these guys right here. I like these. I want to put them on, add some detail to them, right, like this. But I'm really, I have a little bit of a brass tube here. If I cut in the center of them, like this. See, I can get this to work. Oh, it might be a little tricky, a little harder than I thought it would be. Yeah, let's see. See, a little ring, and do that here. It looks kind of cool, right? A little, a little bit of a pain to make, but um, it might be worth it. Uh, congrats on getting back in the work in the movie industry, too. I can't wait to see some of your creations and hope they don't get cut out <laughs> of the final product. Yes, I, yeah, you guys probably heard some stories. Uh, funny, actually, I'm working. Congrats on getting back into film work. Oh, thank you, guys. Stonefist, um, thanks for the tips and tricks. Oh, Yen, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I subscribed years ago. I'm fine, you're looking. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm, um, yeah, I think these guys, these guys look pretty good. I like, you know, I'm wondering, I'm, here, hold on, guys, there's two options here overhead, real quickly. I mean, this does, don't get me wrong, this looks kind of cool, right? A little, little recess on it. But I thought about maybe if I did this, we did this, right? And then did this on top. Like that, make it look, I know. So here's your, here's your choices. You can do this or this. I'm sorry. So you guys go, there's the two choices. There's the one on the left and the one on the right. I know, I kind of like the one on the left, but I don't, Let's, what do you guys think for the detail? What do you think? I mean, this one protrudes more, it sticks out kind of, you know? Hey, Dark Horse Zone, thank you so much. Uh, at least two weeks of streaming for me. I've been rather entertaining. Oh, Becky, of course you are. You're always entertaining. <laughs> Becky, working from home is entertaining. The left. Power Creation says the left. How about adding a strip across the circle? Yeah, I like, I want, I want, I like the round thing in the gear. I mean, we could do the slash thing through it. But since we have the strips going down the bar, um, the ring, okay, yeah, so that's the left. No vote on the ring. Joseph says ring. Full power creation says ring. Yeah, you know, it's sometimes less is more. I think the ring does kind of pull, pull, pull it together. How about both? <laughs> All right, gentlemen and ladies and people. 
Uh, but again, thank you so much, guys. Sorry, it was very kind of a low key stream today. Um, just I haven't. I just so funny. I haven't had time to really think about. I knew what I was. Gonna, I wanted to work on arms today, but I didn't really have a plan. But uh, people getting the thing set up. So now doing this with you guys, I kind of figured out what I want to do now. So this will work. I just got to make sure we. Um, I'm gonna make the other arm and figure out what I want to put on. And what's going to be interesting is I'm going to make them. I'm going to make this the, the next arm. For example, with the oh, let's go over here and talk about this. <clears throat> the next arm is going to be a little bit longer, but I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to build uh, another an, another two sets of just like this, and I might make this part just a little bit this arm piece a little bit longer, like this the, the section, and making this guy just a tad longer. And then doing the same thing with the armature, uh, the wire. So then, for when I get down to it, I can just I I have the freedom to position. Either I want to put it like this, you know, or put it like that. So it gives me the freedom to where once I get the arms built to enough to where I like them, I can just cut a hole, stick them in, glue them in place, so I have them position where I want to. And I'm going to keep them separate. I'm going to keep them, uh, build them, but not put them on the actual skull yet until. Because I just know with sealing and, and spraying and stuff, I want to do them separately and then just glue them in once they're all coated. So, to keep them separate. Uh, you know, something, do that. And also, probably paint them separately, too, so I can have a different color theme on them or something. Make it a lot easier. Um, So I just want to say, everybody, again, thank you all for coming out and hanging out today on my <laughs> my ever-ending, never-ending servo skull build. Um, but um, it's weird to get into the new groove, but that's life. We do, yeah, no, I know, Becky, it's a little bit of a, a learning curve for me, too. But um, I've come to the realization that... Um, with the economy right now and, and busyness and work and it's like getting back in the industry will be a little bit harder on my social media my streams and builds but the one thing it does is it gives me some freedom with the money i'll get so i'll start working so i'll have double income i'll be doing this and working which would be a majority of the income and be doing this um and keep my business going because i still still have a dream to, to do this like completely full time and I think that's my goal is to do this full time. And I was doing it for a while. It was, but the pandemic I mean, kind of leveled up. But this time I'm going to get back into the industry, do a little bit more work, build it up, get the momentum and do both. I'm going to work in the industry. Because here's the thing with movie work. It's like it does slow down sometimes, usually around Christmas and things. So when I'm working, I'm working. But then when it slows down, there's time off. I can jump on costumes and things and do more videos. But um, I do love you guys. I love hanging out. I do love talking shop. And I'm super excited to get everybody really quickly before I close this up. As long as you'll, as long as you'll be happy, we'll be happy. All right, Joseph, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, again, everybody, thank you for hanging out today. Um, we're going to get a big shout out. I'm going to be doing, um, you guys don't know, I'm doing Silicon at the end of this month. Adam Savage's Silicon is going to be great. I always, I've always wanted to meet Adam. I saw him from afar, but this time I'll actually be able to sit down and talk to him a little bit to say hi. Um, and then we got uh, holiday, uh, holiday, uh, holiday cosplay in Tampa, Florida, and that's um, in December. And I, I, you guys, really quickly, if you guys want to know the dates, so I jump over to my website, and on my website it says events, and you can get all the details there. If you haven't got the tickets for people in Florida, I will be there for that one too. And that's, that's what I'm excited about because that's my first time being at that convention. So it's my first time at Silicon and my first time at the um, holiday uh, in, in Florida. So I'm really excited about that too. Please cuddle with Adam and take photos. I will. I think people like, people confuse us a lot. Like we have that gray thing going. <laughs> All the makers with the beards. It happens a lot. So, 
All right, guys. Well, I think I rattled enough as it is. Again, everybody, really quickly. Hey, guys, really quickly. Also, too, um, I'll be making a video for it, too. Is I'm getting, I'm going to fire back up my Fan Photo Friday. Yeah, on on my Fan Photo Friday, uh, what do people, if you go to my website, there's a button that says Fan Photo Friday. And if you click on that, what you do is you submit a picture of a complete costume. Like something you're really, really proud of, your best. So what I do, I get them and I go through them on Thursday. And we pick out the best one. I think it's actually really impressive. And we post you on my website as a, uh, from a fan photo Friday. So when you get featured on Friday, what I do is I send you a, um, a postcard and some stickers and some swag and an autographed postcard and a note saying thank you for being a part of the community and thank you for subscribing to my channel and your support. So, again, Fan Photo Friday, guys. If you have something you built from watching my videos and I've been an inspiration to you and got you guys building, then please send me a nice photograph of your costume. I always say nice because I always like having, like, if you guys, you know, if you're on a location or a nice background, like some, like a really nice featured hero shot of your costume would be great. All right, guys. Thank you so much again. And I will catch you back hopefully next weekend. We'll see how this goes. We'll keep this... Oh, Daniel Knight, hey, thanks. We're, 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 we're wrapping up right now. <laughs> Real quick, guys, if you don't know, also, if you're not, please jump over to my website, eviltedsmith.com, and get on my mailing list. Join my mailing list. And click on my Amazon link and bookmark that on your website. So bookmark that on your computer. So every time you do any shopping through Amazon, with no extra cost to you, I get kicked back for that. So just bookmark it. So every time you go to Amazon, if you're just shopping, for, not just cosplay spot, shopping for friends and family for the holidays, if you kick through my link and you shop through the link, I get kicked back for that, which helps me, again, keep making videos. So, again, thank you. Please. Get in the news, get on my, um, my, um, my email and uh, click on the Amazon link, all that stuff. And buy patterns. And subscribe to my channel. All right, that's enough. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Catch you back next time right here on the Evil Ted channel.